Bonjour. As the Battlefield 4 beta comes even closer than ever, more Battlefield 4 news has surfaced from the deep ocean floor. So today, DICE has revealed all the multiplayer maps. So starting it off, we have Zabar 311, which puts players in a Soviet tank factory that dates back to the Cold War era. So this map is very similar to Operation Riverside if you look at it in a scenery type of way. So it's abandoned facility and there's overgrown trees and bushes that cover the compound. There's an active warhead and players can open paths that were not available while closing other. The other five maps that haven't been revealed at all are Flood Zone, Rogue Transmission, Long Kang Dam, Hainan Resort, and Dawnbreaker. So these maps have not been revealed at all. So this is the first Flood Zone and Long Kang Dam sounds something related with water. Rogue Transmission, Hainan Resort, they can be anything really. Dawnbreaker, same thing. Dawnbreaker sounds like a map that's like break it or make it. Sounds like kind of like a map. Operation Lock and Go on Railway were already pretty much revealed with Siege of Shanghai and Parasol Storm. So all of the maps coming on October 29th are Siege of Shanghai, Parasol Storm, Zavar 311, Long Sang Dam, Flood Zone, Rogue Transmission, Hainan Resort, Dawnbreaker, Operation Locker, and Goldmont Railway. And don't forget that if you pre-order Battlefield 4, you'll also be receiving the China Rising Expansion Pack at no additional cost. So that means you'll be getting four massive maps, all the new vehicles, and all the high-tech military equipment and whatnot else is included with it. So these are all the maps going to be shipping by October 29th. You have Caesar Shanghai, Parallel Storm, Zavar 311, Lansong Dam, Flood Zone, Rogue Transmission, Hainan Resort, Dawnbreaker, Operation Lock, and Goldmont Railway. But that's about it. Can't get this MCOM disarmed. Later.